Hello, the purpose of this video is to explain how you would help wrap uh, a leg that's affected with lymphedema up into the knee. Before you would start, you would apply a good amount of lotion to the entire part of the leg that will be wrapped, and then you would fit the leg with a stockinette. And this is just to protect the skin. Once you've done that, you can start by wrapping the toes with your stretchy gauze. First, you want to anchor the wrap above the toes one or two times and make sure that you are not pulling too tight because this is not meant to apply a lot of compression. Always ask the patient for some feedback. It doesn't matter which toe you start on, but you always leave the pinky out. And for me, it's just more convenient to start with the, the big toe in this case. Make sure that you wrap the toe entirely so there's good coverage. And then once you feel like there's good coverage, go ahead and go around to where you started and then down to the next toe. Starting just below the nail bed. And then work your way up. Now that you've finished securing the toe bandage, go ahead and pull the stockinette down and we're gonna pad the leg with some cotton just for comfort and to make sure that we cover the bony areas of the ankle or any areas that are shaped a little bit irregularly. So you're just going to do a spiral. And you can flex your foot a little bit. Once you feel like you've padded the bony areas well enough, you just spiral your way up, covering about 50% of the last layer, and keep going up to just below the knee. Once you've gone all the way to the knee with your cotton padding, go ahead and use some masking tape to hold it in place, and now we'll place our gray foam pads that your therapist has already cut out for you. One goes for the back with the curve that goes behind the knee. And in this case, she can help me hold on. And then I'll place the front. We're just gonna simply hold this in place with some gauze that doesn't apply any compression. We just want to make sure there aren't large air pockets between the foam and the skin. So I'm just gonna do a simple spiral to hold it in place. Now that you have the foam in place with the gauze and everything's aligned, it's time to put the foam pad for the foot. So I don't have to hold two things at once in my hand. I do one loop around the top of the foot with my cotton padding, and now I can simply place the pad on top of the foot and secure it easily. And you can go ahead and finish the roll. Now that all the foam is secure, it's time to start with the smallest bandage that your therapist gave you. The use of the bandages varies from person to person, so always refer to what your therapist prepared for you. What we'll do is we'll do one or two loops around the top of the foot to anchor the bandage. And then we're doing what might look like a figure eight or a Roman sandal, where I have her flex her foot up and then go across the front, just above the heel. And I'm using my other hand to just smooth things out and apply a little more compression. Come down and then again around the foot. Again, you're only pulling about 50% and smoothing it down. And then you go ahead and repeat that several times.
Once you've finished with the first bandage and if you've secured it with masking tape, you move on to the next bandage. Again, anchor at the ankle, making sure not to pull too tightly. Smooth it down. And now we're following a pattern that goes from the heel to the ankle to the sole. So come down, cover the heel, smoothing as you go. Back around the ankle. Remember to keep the foot flexed. And now down to the sole. You're trying to cover the entire foot and always make sure you're asking the patient how they feel. Once you've repeated the heel, ankle, sole sequence and you've run out of bandage, go ahead and secure it with masking tape and now we're ready to go up the leg. So start with your bandage at the ankle and we're just going to do a simple spiral all the way up where you pull, smooth, and work your way up the leg, covering about 50% of the last layer. If you've done your spiral all the way up to the knee and you have a little bit extra, go ahead and come down without applying any stretch and secure it with masking tape. Here you should be on your last bandage. Go ahead and feel how tight the bandage feels to you and make sure that the patient feels okay. And go ahead and start near the ankle and co complete your spiral going up smoothing and covering about 50%. Now you're done with the bandaging. It's okay to go ahead and trim the upper part of the foam and make sure that the patient doesn't feel any numbness or tingling in the feet and is able to fit in a shoe and walk around comfortably. And then you're all set.